Hola, ciao, what's good? Kelly Paratelli here. Tell me why we are in Louisiana right now and I am seeing the Florida de Lis, which is the universal symbol of the soul, which I believe to be the universal symbol of the soul. Everywhere I travel this year, which has been a fire year for me because it is the year I published a book. I traveled the world by myself. I got an international teaching degree. My book is on the shelves in Schuler's local independent bookstore in Michigan and through Barnes and Noble available for international shipping, right? This year in 2022, I have been to Italy, Spain, South America, Peru, And now I'm traveling in the southern United States in Texas and Louisiana on a road trip with my friend Melissa. And every single place that I've been, I have seen this symbol. Right now it's on a Coca-Cola truck, which is fascinating. Apparently it's Louisiana's state symbol. Um, it's the universal flame, but Coca-Cola is claiming that it's, you know, the heart of Louisiana, or the heart of their economy, I guess, is based on Coca-Cola. That's the south in the U.S. But it's just crazy. Like, I've seen it on, like, bumper stickers on cars. I've seen it on, like, dangling in people's, like, rearview mirror. I've seen it on books. Not just my book, but other books. My friend has it tattooed on her body. Um... I saw it in Spain when I was in Madrid at the gates leading to their um, parliament capital building. I saw it in Spain, I saw it all over Italy. The Fleur de Lis, which has many names, um, which is also in France, um, but it's I believe it to be the universal symbol for the soul or the universal flame residing above the heart in the unseen dimension in the spiritual realm. That's what I believe. And it's on the cover of my book in the center where the heart is. Um, and it is gold on the cover of my book because I believe the true gold lies within. But what are the chances that I keep seeing this symbol in every single place I travel this year? The year I published my book. Stop playing. It is hot in Louisiana. We are here. Hot. She's lucky. I love her. Because her dog's sticking Louisiana. up the whole back seat. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Woo -hoo. It's like 80 degrees here. And I keep seeing that symbol everywhere.
my favorite southern city and that's saying a lot since I was born in Nashville, Tennessee. So apparently there's a TV show on Animal Planet that's been famous for many years called Villa Labos uh, for dogs and parolees, uh, people who have gotten out of prison that they are rehabilitating their lives. And my friend Melissa watches the TV show all the time because she has a dog. She's in the backseat and she loves dogs. So we're going to see it right now. We are in Louisiana. We just pulled up outside in New Orleans uh, to the Villa Labos location in New Orleans um, where this famous TV show is filmed and we're going to try to see the dogs. Um, and this is one of Melissa's like favorite things so it was on her bucket list to come here and we're just outside right now looks like the gates closed so we're trying to get in um, to see if it's open um, but it should be interesting I'm not sure if I'm allowed to film certain aspects of it because they're parolees people who have come out of prison and are trying to rehabilitate their lives she gives them opportunities she gives them shelter and housing apparently and helps them uh, get jobs and just um, if they want to she gives them every opportunity as Melissa said so um, we're there right now I can see and hear the dogs but Melissa's going up to the gate to try to see if we can get in um, we'll see what we can film what I'm allowed to film but um, should be a really good experience and um, it's a really good thing for the community if there are people that are rehabilitating their lives that probably never should have been in prison in the first place or if they did deserve to be in prison um, everyone deserves a second chance in life we all make mistakes we're human beings that's really how I feel um, and good can still be done in, you know in the world as long as you're alive so that's a really good thing um, I keep seeing the Florida Lee symbol everywhere it's right outside here on the gate um, the universal flame that's on the cover of my book testimony um, it's like a famous symbol it's an iconic actually symbol for um, actually for um, Louisiana in New Orleans so it's just really interesting that we're on this trip this year um, the year that I published my book because I just keep seeing that symbol everywhere anyways I believe it's a sign because I believe everything happens for a reason peace love and respect stay tuned Okay, we are in New Orleans on Canal Street. There's a lot to do here, a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants. Real travelers carry their own toilet paper. First of all, when you travel in Europe, you have to pay to go to the bathroom most place in public places. In the U.S., you can go in any gas station, any fast food place, unless they don't have toilet paper. Good thing I bring my own. So, this is the river walk at Louisiana. We are on the Mississippi River. It's really beautiful today. And you can see the boats. It's an outlet mall. There's a bridge. It's very beautiful today. The moon is out. I love when the moon is out during the day. walking in New Orleans, Louisiana on Canal Street with all the shops and everything and it kind of, New Orleans kind of reminds me of like a mixture of Europe, Canada and the South and so the way the buildings are, the architecture, you have to see it for yourself, it's really beautiful. It's kind of a little bit of the old world mixed in with the new. Mardi Gras is a very big deal in New Orleans so we have all the Mardi Gras gear, the beads, uh, in a lot of shops. We're shop <laughs> and we're walking in New Orleans near the French Quarter but on Canal and the sun is about to go down here in a little bit. It's very beautiful weather. It's like 81 and sunny and we're used to Michigan weather being, you know, it's like in the 40s there right now. We are on Bourbon Street. Definitely a party street in New Orleans. And in, there's lots of bright lights. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I just had some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. And it was at Willie's and Little Wayne's face. Little Wayne's face it was on the wall at Willie's. And that's how you know the chicken was good. <laughs> it was so good for us. Someone recommended it to us. And they were right.
symbol on my book is everywhere in the city of New Orleans. I have it on me, have it on me. Got new merch. We found a lot of cool shops. There's definitely a lot to do on Bourbon Street. There's tons of people everywhere. Tons of bars, tons of parties, tons of restaurants, lights everywhere. It's all lit up at night. It's really cool. This whole street, Bourbon Street, is lit. Litty titty. <laughs> um, yeah. And I just had the best fried chicken I've ever had. And I'm walking that off. Seriously though, this is so much fun. Honestly, if it wasn't for the hurricanes, I would consider living down here in Louisiana because it's a really dope city. Like, New Orleans is really dope.